look at these mountains and tell me how old do y'all think these mountains are? These are the Rocky Mountains in Canada and they are 80 million years old. 80 million year old mountains. Um, I don't think any of us can even imagine the hard work and effort that the earth put into these mountains over the last 80 million years. I think that's even before Jesus was said to be born for these mountains to be what they are today, to be the strongholds that they are today. Unimpenetrable. Well, in, impenetrable. Yeah. Impenetrable in unmovable. You can't knock them down. If I put three gallons of TNT on one of them, it might blow out a hole but the whole mountain is not going to come down. What you're looking at before you is Saturn. This is Saturn. This is what Saturn represents. Saturn Capricorn actually do represent mountains and strongholds and something that has a foundation that's been laid so great that it cannot be moved or knocked down. That is Saturn. And being here in the Alberta Rockies just inspired me to want to talk about Saturn and talk about um, foundations and time and all the things that Saturn represent represents that these mountains also represent. Saturn is about time and patience. Remember, I said it took 80 million years for these mountains to get to where they are. That is that is the most the best example of time and patience you could ever hope for. You know what I'm saying? And it's something that the earth does naturally. Um, when it comes to Saturn, we don't always like to take our time because as humans, our first instinct is to for things to be fast, to be speedy. That's why Aries it starts the Zodiac. That's why Mars is the first planet that begins the Zodiac um, because we all want things to be speedy. The faster, the better, right? Not with Saturn. This is why Saturn and Capricorn rule the 10th house because things that are built with a real foundation, things that take their time, they cannot be knocked down. They are everlasting in a way. We can't even imagine. Only something out of this fucking world could break these mounds apart, you know, could tear them down, all of them, and make them fall and crumble. Um, which is funny because um, Saturn also has co-rulership over Aquarius, which rules over space. So quite literally, only something from space out of this world could actually knock this down. But anyway, that's getting besides the point. Like I said, Saturn is about time and patience. When you look at your Saturn, when you're looking at Saturn in the natal chart, you know you look, you know you're looking at something that requires your patience that requires you to build things brick by brick. Paramore has a song actually called Brick by Brick. I really love it. Um, and the song just talks about how, um, you know, building things brick by brick um, or the wolf's going to come and blow it down. Right. Remember the three little piggies and the, the, that one little piggy. No, two. one of them had like a haystack and the other one had like. And then the last one had it had his shit built brick by brick. That's Saturn. That's these mountains, the time and the patience and the effort put into them so that they cannot be knocked down. When you're looking at Saturn transiting or when you're looking at Saturn in your natal chart, that's what you need to be thinking about. What which area of life? What is Saturn showing me requires time and patience to be built up so that way I don't have to worry about it falling later. Nobody in Canada, in these Alberta Rockies, have, has to worry about these mountains just crumbling down. This whole town and this whole um, you know network of people and infrastructure built through the mountains don't have to worry about shit happening to the mountains because of the time and the effort the Earth took to build them. The most, I think, mountains are the most stable foundations on Earth. Right, the tip of the mountain, that's the MC. The MC is the highest point in the chart. Right. The 10th house ruled by Saturn and Capricorn is the same thing. See all those the tippy, tippy tops of the mountains. You know, like this is stuff we really can't even imagine. Almost stuff like this looks almost unreal for someone like me who didn't grow up anywhere near a mountain range or even a beach for that matter. Um, Saturn is about what are your building blocks? Where did your building blocks come from? Because you can build and build. 
Remember, Saturn wants you to build and wants you to create a foundation. But what are you building with? Remember the three little piggies. One. I think he had like a tent. A tent. Okay, yeah. excuse me. A tent. It had a tent. And then the other one had like a haystack. So they had that, but then the other one had bricks. It's also about what are you building with, right? What are you building with? So when you're looking at your Saturn and you're, you're looking for longevity, you're trying to get to the mountaintop, you want your foundation to last. But what, what are you going to use? What are the tools you're going to use to make it last? You have to think about that when thinking about Saturn. Um, we went on a tour yesterday through the Rockies and I was thinking, I was listening to our tour guide tell a story about the different mountaineers who've explored these mountains, the accidents they've had, the history they've made. And one, one very important fact that I took away that reminded me about Saturn was um, the preparedness of the mountaineers. Mountaineer preparedness has grown and grown over the centuries. What you need, what are the proper tools, the technology has improved to allow mountaineers to be able to um, climb the mountain and scale it as safely as possible, right? Mountaineers are always prepared. They always have all the proper tools to climb the mountain. Nobody can just climb these mountains all willy-nilly without the proper tools. That's what Saturn demands of you. Not just that you climb the mountain or that you lay the foundation. The fa it's what you lay the foundation with as well. Where are your tools? What are they? Are they of good quality? Are they sturdy? Do they have longevity? Are they worth their weight? Right? And I'm thinking about it. So um, the country of Canada, right? It would be a very difficult country to invade, I learned. Because imagine... Imagine another country trying to bring all their trained troops through these mountains to invade this country and traverse the terrain. Every single troop would have to know what to do in mountain events, fight off the wildlife, be able to traverse the trees correctly without getting lost, be able to scale the mountain like a goat without falling. It's near impossible to do that for an entire army and to and invade this whole country, you know. So Canada's a pretty safe place, if you ask me. This is also why um, Capricorn and Aries, Saturn and Mars don't get along, why they square each other, right? Because Mars is the battle, is the war, and Capricorn and Saturn is the stronghold, the force. It'd be very hard for troops, Mars, which, and which is Mars and Aries, the troops, the war, to get through a place like this, right? And that's what you want when you're thinking about Saturn, when you're thinking about Capricorn in your chart where it is when you're thinking about it transiting when planets are transiting Capricorn you want the kind of stronghold and foundation that even the 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 violent most violent of wars cannot get through or will have a hard time getting through right when something is built up correctly by Saturn as judged by Saturn if Saturn has judged whatever your thing is or you, who you are or whatever it is to have been built up correctly it will not fall. It will not fall because that's what Saturn is. 80 million years. These mountains have been coming into completion and they're still there. I think they're probably still doing their thing. I don't think mountains necessarily. Well, I guess they do grow, quote unquote. But you get my point. 80 million years. They're still they're still doing their thing. And we as humans, we don't get 80 million years. We don't we don't even get a sliver of a fraction of that. You know, most of us are lucky if we get to 65 or 70. So what is it that you're, what is it? Like, what are your tools? What is it that you're going to lay the foundation for that you want to stand as tall as these mountains 80 million years after you die? You know, is it your writing? Is it your career? Is it the nurturance you provided to your children? Is it your singing? Is it the love that you had for skateboarding or sports? What is it? It can be anything. It can be anything. Saturn, um, Saturn does not judge us for the small things that we want to be strong. Not at all. It just wants them to be strong. It just wants them to have a proper foundation built with the proper tools. Saturn in our lives is also about lessons. What are the lessons we can learn from looking at these mountains and where they stand? Saturn is a harsh punisher only when you go against its lessons, right? If these mountains have taught us anything, it's that, you know, it, like I said, it taught us preparedness. Mountains have taught us how to go around, how to find the path of least resistance 
to get up the mountain, right? Saturn is all about the path of least resistance because Saturn doesn't want to give you obstacles and delays and resistance. It only will if it's necessary, if there's a better path you can take, or if there's a very particular obstacle that absolutely requires that you go through it. Saturn is only harsh, like I said, when we are ignoring its lessons or when we're blatantly going against them or when we think we don't have to have them. That's when Saturn's lessons are the harshest. But we all have lessons to learn regardless. We all have to traverse these mountains regardless. Saturn wants us to handle things to the best of our ability. To the best of our ability. He wants us to do our best. You know? And sometimes you can only do your best with what you have currently. Right? If I think about myself when I was 18 and 19, I think about the stupid things I said and the, th the stupid things I did and the way, I the way that I felt when I felt it because I didn't know how to feel any other way. All you can do is do the best with what you have until evolution. Evolution is Pluto, but that's another video. So you do the best with what you have while you have it. And as you build... As you build, your best becomes better and better and better. Over these 80 million years, these mountains have become harder and harder and harder to traverse. They've grown higher and higher and higher. And that's what happens when you're constantly doing your best with what you have. Saturn is all about working within limitation. Saturn doesn't want you to try to um, push past limits every single day or every single time you're faced with a limitation. Sometimes the limitation is there because we just need to work with what we have. And that's all. Because what we have is good enough currently. Right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoyed looking at these mountains with me. They've brought me a kind of peace and serenity I never, I never thought I could experience. I feel renewed and rejuvenated looking at them. And I feel, I not even feel, I know... I have a much clearer and better understanding of Saturn and what it is and how it is. And I already had a lot of knowledge on it previously, but looking at the absolute spectacularness of these mountains just reinvigorated me to go into Saturn even more and truly understand it. This past week, there was a lot of drama on Twitter. I was attacked. I was accused. I was slandered. False things were told. Exaggerations were told. And I was so upset. But I'm here looking at these mountains, looking at the stronghold, knowing that I am these mountains. I built myself. I had the right tools. I have built myself properly in a way that Saturn has deemed correct. And because of that, I will not fall. And I hope that as you guys go through your lives and as you experience many different endeavors, you will feel the same way with the things that you build and know that you are these mountains as well and that you too cannot fall. Thank you for watching.